Greetings, all! Well, everybody, here we are. You know, it's been a long time since I started this channel, and I know it may not be a very large one, but I've put in so much time and effort that it never really mattered, to be honest. But now here we are. I've managed to cover the entire National Pokédex as it stands right now. Of course, that will change eventually, but for now, the major goal that I had for this channel has been met. So, the question now becomes, well, what do we do now? The answer to that is a bit more complicated than you might imagine. So, here's the deal. I have been working on this for so long that I kind of realized at some point or another, probably the last year and a half or so, that it wasn't exactly as well, enjoyable as it usually was, and there was a big reason for that. And that's because I really looked back and I realized I've done all this work, but YouTube has not been kind to me with its algorithm. And I don't know how to play that game, and to be honest, I don't think I want to. It's made pretty clear as far as I'm concerned that, uh, for a lot of cases, even the, the greatest and the biggest YouTubers, now they have to play ball. They used to be able to just do their own thing and that was enough, but now, Everybody is a, forgive the term, a slave to the algorithm's will. And, uh, I'm not playing that game. I'm not. But for the last year and a half at least, it has gotten repetitive. Things have gotten to the point where it's just like turning out papers and other products like a freaking conveyor belt machine or however you want to put it. And that's just not what I like to do. That's not the reason why I started this channel in the first place. And it's not just the reports. You know, doing, you know, the, the moves as well, and soon enough I'll be doing abilities, sure. It all feels really formulaic. It doesn't feel like there is a lot of something that's holding me down, you know? I don't have an anchor with it all. And that's been a problem, because I love Pokemon. I love it so, so much. But the work here has gotten repetitive, and in some cases, just not fun to do. I forced myself to do it because that's what I've always done, but I think I've reached a point now where I can clearly say I can't do that anymore, and because of that, there are some changes that are going to be coming to this channel. So first of all here, I'm going to let you guys know there's going to be a change in the upload schedules, because I've been cranking stuff out, you know, like clockwork for a while now, but if you also may have noticed, the last couple of entries have been coming out well, they've been coming out a little bit slower, and there's an important reason why. I love this channel, but I feel very constrained with what I can really do with it. And in a sea of PokeTubers out there, it's not entirely lost on me why the algorithm might not have been so kind to me. And that does hurt, but it is also reality that I've just come to accept. I'm not going to stop making content, I want to make that perfectly clear. Again, I still have the moves to go through for Pokemon and abilities, but as far as all that, and also, you know, Retro Rewind, which is going to be a, a major feature now for quite some time, until a lot of really new content comes, that's going to be the extent of it. And instead of uploading every four or even five days, I've had to make the decision that it's only going to be an upload once per week just once per week. Now, that seems like a drastic change, but there again is a reason why, and that is because in order to kind of break the monotony on my end and actually feel like I am contributing something new and unique, I'm doing something I never thought I would have to do. And I have to do it on the fact that I'm also juggling a new job, which has pretty much taken out my entire mornings, which is not exactly great for me, but I have found a way around all this, and that is simply that I have created a new channel on this platform. And you may be wondering, why would I do that? I mean, I could just put Pokemon content on here, and that's true. The reason why? I'm no longer just going to be covering Pokemon content. Now, this particular profile, this channel is going to stay Pokemon focused. I'm not going to turn it into a medley of stuff. That's not how I operate. That would be kind of insane. But this new channel is going to be doing something I've never actually done before. 
I've mentioned a couple times in the past that this is the direction I was going to go with it all, but it is not until now that I can happily and very joyously talk about it. I have discovered a new love. A love that I've had for a long time, but now I've found a way to make it fresh and exciting, brand new all over again. A franchise that I hold so dear that it is my second favorite out of the entirety of video game history, right behind Pokemon. It is a bit of a niche franchise, but that's also why I love it so much. Because there's just so much to offer, and it's open to anyone who really wants to explore it. It is a franchise that goes far beyond the world that we live within, and out into the cosmos. A world into planets and star systems far beyond our own. Not in fantasy, but in the wonders of science fiction. And you know what? The best part? is that it's also one of the few franchises of a truly titanic size in its own right that doesn't have a dude as the main protagonist. You should know what I'm talking about. Yes, I am indeed going to be covering the entire franchise of Metroid. Oh yes, and you know what? I'm super excited. I'm so excited, in fact, that I'm happy to announce not only am I making this new channel, it already exists and it already has a couple of videos uploaded on there for you to observe and binge. And trust me when I say this, what is there already is just the beginning. There are so many fun projects and secrets that I'm going to be putting into this because Metroid as a franchise doesn't have a lot of games to it. So you might think that the content there isn't going to last very long, but the truth of the matter is, you have no idea what you're in for. Of course, getting out there to explore these worlds isn't exactly easy, so I had to pull some strings and phone in a few friends here and there in order to make this happen, but maybe not the friends you might be expecting. Before I give a little introduction to what I mean by that, I wanted to say this. If you do want to see this new channel and all that it has to offer, I will put it in the description of this video. Click on the link, I implore you, and check it out. Because the individuals that are helping me get this work done may not exactly always be the nice guys in any situation. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going off to worlds far beyond our own to explore and examine them and all the beautiful biota that might exist there, but I'm not exactly doing it on the budget or on the good graces of some greater galactic empire or federation as it may be. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, um, couldn't get a hold of them, but I did get a hold of some others. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce here, when I'm not here doing beautiful work on Pokemon on this wonderful world, I'm going to be traveling the cosmos as part of the Space Pirate Science Team. And I hope that you will join us and all the wonderful hijinks that are likely to occur. And hopefully, hopefully, we don't fucking crash land somewhere. Because some of these guys, well, you'll get to meet them soon enough. Until then, though, have a wonderful day.